Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Everyday Movie Goer and welcome to the very first edition of the Everyday Movie Goer's Movie News. Alright, this is the first episode of the Everyday Movie Goer's Movie News and I'm going to post these videos whenever I feel it's necessary, not weekly not daily, like some other news, YouTube videos or whatever, I'm just going to post it whenever I feel like it. Um, so I was on Rotten Tomatoes today, and I saw a whole list of news stories, and the idea just came to me, why wouldn't I just make a video showing some of the highlights of the news stories they had up and my opinions on them. So, let's get right into it. First news to talk about today is images of the new Dragon Ball movie have been leaked onto the internet in an official leak. Not a weird leak from some promotional CD from a comic book convention in Europe. No, we're talking about straight from the studio, photographic leak. And, um, so far it looks crappy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, Dragon Ball was, is the name of an anime series that ran for quite a long time. Uh, and it hadn't, if you've never seen an episode, this is all you have to know. Bunch of shirtless dudes, lots of fireballs being shot out of their hands, and like a few of them like get their arms cut off and then they like, grow back. And uh, then one of them like dies and goes to heaven and God is some guy who wears a hat with horns. That's all you have to know. And if your thinking is like mine, you're going to think it's crazy that they're making a movie about that, but they are. And it's going to star relatively well-known American actors and Japanese or Chinese actors. Um, one, well, a couple of names worth mentioning is Justin Chatwin is going to be in the main role as Goku, the main protagonist of the anime series and also of this movie. We know Justin Chatwin from the movie The Invisible and from the movie The Invisible, which I thought was a horrible movie. I thought it was just slow moving. It had a good premise, but they didn't do anything with it. And it was very boring and it was very brooding. And it also involved a lot of scenes of people doing this. That was pretty much the entire movie of The Invisible in about five seconds. So don't watch that movie. But anyway, I'm getting off subject. Also in the movie is Chow Young Fat, which we all know from movies like Hard Boiled, where he played Inspector Tequila. Those are cult classic movies. And he and more recently, in a more mainstream movie, he played Kublai Khan, I think it was, in Pirates of the Caribbean uh, 3, at World's End. And uh, playing, I don't know who. Um, all we know is uh, photo leaks and nothing about the plot of the movie or the casting. But so far, it looks crappy. If you want... Google it, Google Dragon Ball movie images leaked, or just Dragon Ball movie images, and you'll probably find them. And by the way, Justin Chatwin looks sweet with the uh, spiked up blonde hair. It's going to be awesome. So just watch the movie for that at least. Second news story, Sigourney Weaver wants to do another alien movie. A fifth one. They've already made Alien, Aliens, Alien 3. Alien Resurrection, and now Alien 5, which I think is going to be absolute crap. No director should want to direct it, no writer should want to write it. Just stay the heck away from Alien 5. The first one was a fine example of what you can do with a scary movie and like a slasher movie in space. No one had ever done that before. Aliens, Aliens was good. Alien 3, it just went on like a downhill slide um, right after Alien 2. And now they want to make a fifth one. I'm not going to watch it. And the last order of news for today, Beverly Hills Cop 4, which Eddie Murphy said he was shooting with director Brett Ratner on board right after he said he was going to retire from making movies and return to stand-up. What a liar. We all know what kind of crap Meet Dave is going to be. So, what better career move than to make a Beverly Hills Cop 4 after Beverly Hills Cop 3 was like the pace of resistance of the entire Beverly Hills Cop series. While the first one was is often considered a great comedy movie and the second one was considered a decent follow-up, the third one was considered absolute crap. And even Eddie Murphy admitted it himself. He said that, he said 
well, this is paraphrasing. He said that Beverly Hills Cop 3 was crap, and that wasn't the way he should end the series. So what's the next order of business? Just make a fourth one, which I think is going to be horrible, especially with Brett Bratner directing. Mr. Brett Rush Hour 3, Bratner. Just, just again, that's another movie I wouldn't see. So anyway, that's it for this week's movie news. My name's The Everyday Movie Goer, and you've just been fi- I mean, I have been watching a lot of sexy film. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, uh, this has been The Everyday Movie Goer, and keep on watching movies. Sexy film.